of the Tanya Hardy Nancy Kerrigan 1994 Museum. What started out as a mere Kickstarter has become reality for Brooklyn roommates Viviana Olin and Matt Harkins. The pair of comedians have built a one-of-a-kind museum in the hallway of their Williamsburg apartment dedicated to Tanya Harding and Nancy Kerrigan and the 1994 scandal that captivated the world. Their inspiration? The ESPN documentary about the ice skating drama that aired last year. I feel really bad that this happened. I was looking forward to competing against her. We just watched this documentary and then, you know, we'd go out and uh, everyone's talking about things that it's like, uh, I don't really have anything to add to this conversation. I'd rather talk about something that happened 20 years ago uh, that I have a lot of facts about because we just watched a great doc documentary about it last night. Each artifact in the tight but well thought out hallway slash museum tells a part of the story that rocked the 1994 Olympics with each ice skating diva getting her own wall. The museum itself relied heavily heavily on donations and whatever the duo uncovered on eBay. So this part of the museum is focused on young Tanya. Uh, we found this on Google and Tanya looks uh, pretty cool. Over here, this is the actual scoring sheet and press pass from the U.S. Championships, which is where the attack happened. Our favorite piece maybe is the Tanya Harding triple axel uh, diorama, which was made by Brittany Powell Perrick in Portland, Oregon. I mean, it's incredible. We should all make more dioramas. So these cross stitches are works of art. You can see Tanya and Nancy, and they are beautiful. Tip to people starting their own museums, um, definitely go on eBay and get some old star magazines because they are a fabulous read. Double Cross, how Tanya's cover-up was blown after lunch with the FBI. But a bigger story, I think, Janet Jackson's secret baby. The big question, will Nancy or Tanya be visiting the museum anytime soon? We did an interview uh, with the Boston Herald. They reached out to Nancy, and uh, the official word was no comment. Tanya does think it's cool, but she's really busy and she can't come, so we're pretty happy with that. Yeah. A very interesting day, to say the least. Well, the Tanya Harding and Nancy Kerrigan 1994 Museum held their grand opening gala this past weekend. The reception so far, pretty positive. The only way to get into the museum is by appointment only. Visitors have to submit a request online ahead of time. The museum itself will close when their lease runs out in about a year. If you want to get more information on it all, go to our website, pix11.com. How much for admission? Yeah. Free. It's oh, free. Free. Yes. I bet you they have a donation wow. hat, though. I'm sure they <laughs> like do. All but museums it, do. Yes. Right? They love Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding, and I love the fact that they love it and they put a museum together. So it's cool. They must love it.